So you can probably guess that by removing myself off of my channel and having contributors on it for a few months, it did not do well analytically. You could probably assume that. And uh, if you assumed that, you would be absolutely correct. My channel absolutely did not thrive with contributors on it and it had nothing to do with the contributors it had everything to do with the fact that I built this channel as me and y'all were here for me and then I went away and y'all weren't here anymore and I totally get it like I expected that that's not like it was a surprise and if you haven't figured it out already or <laughs> you haven't listened to my podcast which I will totally link below it's called in your earballs and I released an episode where I was just talking about how the contributors just didn't work and I'm taking back my channel so if you haven't figured it out that is what is going on and a lot of it like a lot a lot of it came from being super burnt out like I think I was just really burnt out and wasn't sure what my next direction was. And so I had to, instead of just taking a break, I like took myself out in a way where I didn't take a break. And honestly, I don't know, maybe taking a break would have been better for the channel because let me just show you these analytics. Just a fair warning, these analytics are not pretty. Okay, so this is like a 365 day look at my view count. And you can see that this time a year ago, I was getting about 7,600 views per day. And currently I'm getting about 1,900 to 2,000 views a day. So it is drastically below what it was this time last year. And that sucks, but that is not all because of the contributors. My channel was down anyway. So we actually started contributors at the end of August slash the beginning of September. So you can see here is like September 13th, right here's kind of that first period of contributors. And you can tell that like, my channel was already down at that point, but it really went down after that. So let's go to the last 90 days. And if you look at it like this, it doesn't really look that bad, but let's look at it, you know, in, in like a little bit better of a view. So again, I was getting like 3,600, 3,000, 3,400, 3,500 views per day at my peaks 90 days ago. And now at my peaks, it's like 3,100. And that's just one peak. Like most of them are like 2,600, 2,600. 2300 that kind of thing so i'm down about a thousand views per day since i started contributors and my subscriber number per day isn't really down any further than it was 90 days ago but it is drastically down from what it was a year ago then you've got watch time which follows the same curve and estimated revenue which follows the same curve so in the last 28 days, my revenue from YouTube, which is just what YouTube pays me, it's not like what sales I make from my courses or brand deals or anything like that, but it's about $1,296. And you can kind of see here how that has went down since I started Contributors. So again, it was down quite a bit from last year anyway, but everybody's revenue on YouTube is down, especially people in my industry. Um, this is not something I was super worried about. I don't really count on my YouTube revenue um, specifically because that's like, I, it's always gonna do this. Like next year it could be way more, um, but we're going into a recession and like things are different, right? Um, but you can see the change when I started contributors that it's even less, okay? So um, like I say, I started contributors at the end of August. So we're gonna look at September on, um, but in August, I made like $2,400 June, 2,400 March, 2,800 February, 38 last December, 4,300 and then September, 1,900. So that's like $500 less than I had made in August, which should tell you something. And then October, 1,500. And then now in November, I'm filming this at almost at the end of November. There's only like three or four days left in the month and it's at 1,100. So it has drastically dropped since I started Contributors because my views have drastically dropped since I started Contributors. 
It doesn't help that some of the videos that were doing super well last year were starting to fall off anyway when I started contributors. And a lot of the reason they were starting to fall off is because I was not talking about those topics anymore because the contributors were not talking about those topics. And then YouTube was like, oh, well, nobody must care about digital products from Jessica again anymore, so let's not show this video as much. So you can see where that stat like drastically plummeted from a video that had been doing pretty well for me last year. Okay, the stat that kind of hurts my heart the most that it did a little dippy dip is this one right here, which is the watch time from subscribers. So right now, not subscribed is taking about 74% of my views. Subscribed is about 26%. And not subscribed has always been the higher number for me, but I had it much closer than this uh, before I started contributors because I had worked really hard to make sure y'all wanted to see every video I was releasing and not have it be as much like search driven and things like that. So if we go back to, let's just do like March of this year, you can see it's, much closer of a margin. So 64% not subscribed, 35% subscribed, which meant I was on a path to getting more and more of my subscribers to watch my videos. And then I shot it in the foot and here we are. So, you know, overall, honestly, if you look at the last 90 days, it's really not that big of a dip. Um, where, when you're looking at it closely like that, it's really when you zoom back out into 365 days that you can see the big dip um, a little bit more. But also you can see that I was dipping before I made this change. This is much lower than this is over here. So in January of this year, I, my channel was much more alive than it was in July of this year. And then of course, once I started contributors, it went down even further from there. I said this a second ago, but I've had a lot of conversations with other creators in my niche, in my industry, other creators that I look up to and I'm friends with, and everybody's channel is seeing a dip this year in views, in subscriber ratio, in um, subscriber growth amount, in watch time, in, in revenue, all of the things. So that's just kind of the game of YouTube, of any social media, is sometimes things are just down. Um, but I do know that I did things to like hurt mine even further, if you will. And something that I have to show you and kind of the main metric that I personally am gonna go after as I try and like realive my channel. Um, and that is my views per video in the first like seven days. So um, you can see here that we had a couple of really good pieces of content do really well on the channel during this contributor period. So Sahar did some really awesome Pinterest videos for us that clearly did well, right? Like here's one from her. Um, I believe this, yep, this one is from her. We had this one from Jessica Winter that did really well. We had this one from Desiree Martinez that did really well. And then again, this one from Sahar. And these were a combination of topics and personalities that just did super well on the channel. And the videos that didn't do as well, I did take down. Like this one from Diana Gladney did really well, but ignoring kind of all of that, okay? If we scroll back to BC of my channel before contributors, okay? Um, you can see that most of my videos, I'm just gonna leave it on like one screen of my videos. The lowest amount of views one of these videos got was this one here that was like a little under 3,000 views. Most of these videos were getting a ton of views. There were 8,000, 63,000, 6,000, 28,000, 9,000, 4,000, 20,000. You see the point here. And I knew when I got a video that did under 3,000 views in that first week that it probably wasn't my best video. And now AC, after contributors, like I said, we had a few contributor videos do super well, but after contributors and during contributors, even when I would publish a video that was me, they still wouldn't do as well as they did before. So you can see here, like this one here, only got 2,000 views, this one only got 1,000 views, this one got uh, 2,400 views, and I would have thought that video would have done really, really well. Um, this one here, 2,000 views, and one I just released the other day is about 1,000 views. And the reason for that is that I pissed off YouTube. Um, by pissing off y'all, basically, I pissed off YouTube. So by putting these contributors up, 
you guys stopped watching my videos when they came out because you didn't want them from the contributors and I totally get that. But you stopped watching them as much, they weren't doing as well. Therefore, even when a video from me comes out, YouTube is like, well, nobody's really watching this channel. We're not gonna show this video to those people. So I have to build back trust with you and with the algorithm in order to get those views back up. So the biggest thing for me is I want to get those views back up to about 3,000 views per video in those first seven days. And if I can do that, all of the rest of the analytics will naturally just come up. They're bad, they're not good, but um, it's okay. Hey, we're gonna we're gonna turn this around we're gonna grab the bull by the horns and we're gonna steer this ship in the other direction okay and I have full confidence in the fact that we can do this and let me just tell you my plan so as of right now even when I publish a video it gets like a thousand views and my normal before I brought on the contributors was like three to 5,000 views per video as soon as they released. And so I wanna get back to that point pretty quickly. So initially when I started my plan, I was not planning to come back twice a week, but I think one, the channel needs twice a week. Two, I have some brand deals that I need to get done because after January, I am not going to take on a lot of brand deals anymore. I'll still take on brand deals because working with companies like Sony is my freaking dream, but not as many. And the reason behind that is because this is my channel and this channel was originally created to grow my business and I wanna get back to that a little bit more. I got really distracted with wanting to be a creator and now there is one, nothing wrong with wanting to be a creator. Two, there is nothing wrong with being a creator. And three, I'm not saying I don't wanna be a creator but I got really distracted by like I want to be a creator and I just want to create the kind of content I want to create and I make, want to make money from that and what you fall into when that's the case is brand deals that then the brand has you know has say in your video or your concept or things like that and so then you're still not in charge of the content. Plus what I learned was that I don't love just creating content on the fly. I need ideal viewer, I need to kind of know what the goal of the video is and all of those kinds of things because that's what I've always done here. So all of that to say, I'm gonna be doing videos twice a week. That's kind of the first thing I'm gonna do to kind of bring all of this back. And the reason that helps or, or is even a thing that will help or whatever is kind of two-pronged. It's going to prove with each video to YouTube and to the algorithm that y'all want to watch it. And so with each video, if the views go up with each video, YouTube will get more and more trustworthy of the fact that when I put up a video, they should show it to people. The second thing I'm doing, which is pretty obvious, is just that it's just gonna be me again. And I'm, I'm stopping the contributors and it's going to be me again on my channel. And I think that will help more than anything else I'm probably gonna do. Third thing is I'm gonna tap back into what y'all really want from content here. So the topics that you love, the videos that you love, all of that kind of stuff, I'm really going to bring all of that back and make sure I'm doing the type of content that you wanna watch. And then last, but absolutely not least, is something I've always tried to do, especially in the last few years, and that is to really integrate me, my personality, my life, uh, that kind of stuff into my content and not just make it be like, how to, blue de blue kind of content. So let's see, let's see if I can revive this channel from the dead for like the 14th time. It's actually not as dead this time as it has been in the past. So that's kind of nice and exciting. So tell a friend to tell a friend. She's back. So let's do this and I'm gonna post update videos on where things are at and how the channel's coming back and all of the things because I know this is the type of content that y'all wanna see that you can learn from really easily and that a lot of you out there are like, my channel's dead too, I don't know what to do. Let's see what Jessica does. So let's just do this thing, okay? Okay.